Hi, I'm Chloe Bennett from Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and today we're talking about embracing my Chinese heritage and overcoming bullying. Hi guys, it's Kirby. Welcome back to Pretty Unfiltered. Today I'm with Chloe Bennett from Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and today we are talking about embracing who you are and your heritage because you yes. are Chinese American, right? Yes, I am. And so we have a lot to cover and I think you know what I'm gonna bring up first. So I'm sorry, but it's amazing. Chloe was a very successful Chinese <laughs> pop star. The reason why I bring that up is because then you came back to America because mm -hmm. you said you got the call to be a pop star like in geometry class or something. Literally, yeah, yeah. I was in geometry and um, I, I'm from Chicago and I like, grew up on the south side of Chicago and I was in the Second City Improv group and like taking voice lessons because these girls in my high school were really mean. They're like, you can't be in our theater group. Oh my I was God. like, fine, I'll take voice. And so that teacher connected me to a producer who works with like Avril Lavigne and all these people in China. And somehow they just were like, hey, do you want to be a pop star in China? And I was like, yeah. That's a movie in itself in my yeah. opinion. <laughs> so you came back and you changed your last name and tell yeah. them why. So when I first was, you know, auditioning for roles and, and going out, um, you know, for different characters in LA, I, I was going out for Asian roles and then just for roles that weren't scripted in, in for any particular ethnicity. And all the comments were always, you're not white enough to be the lead and you're not Asian enough for this part. So you're not Asian enough, you're not white enough. Mm -hmm. And it was so frustrating. And I also have like a really low voice and looked like 30 when I was 19, which is kind of <laughs> when I was like 17, which was troubling for a lot of people. Um, and uh, it became so frustrating to me. And I remember thinking, God, it's so, I remember agreeing like, oh yeah, I'm not white enough for this part. Like wow. this should go for the white, this should go to the person who's white. And I remember thinking that like a year later being, oh my gosh, I can't even believe. Even for ethnically ambiguous roles. Yes, yes. Wow. Like, oh, I can't, because those were so rare. And yeah. it was always the best friend, but they're like, your energy and your personality isn't that of the character. You, you're not right for those roles, even if you may l technically like look the part. Mm -hmm. And it was just really weird to me. I was, I've always been hyper aware of like my ethnicity growing up in Chicago. I have two black brothers and one Mexican Filipino brother. And race is something that's always been just kind of discussed in my house. and. I remember being, I remember when I was a kid being aware that my, finding out that my brothers looked different and, and thinking that other people thought that was weird and thinking that was really bizarre. Mm -hmm. So it's always been something I've kind of been hyper aware of. And then I was just kind of sick of being known for either. And so in Chinese culture, the father's last name is a big deal. My dad has been a huge support in my life. So his first name is Bennett, which is where Chloe Bennett comes from. So that's why it has one T. Did, um, did you have any backlash from changing your last name? Did that ever um, not come back to haunt you? But did I have it more it? now? Like I, I've had, I have a lot of people say, "Well, you, you're not a real Chinese person if you didn't make it with your your real." My real last name's Wong, and people are like, "Well, if you didn't make it with that last name, you're not a real. You're you're running from your Chinese culture, and that's not true at all. I embrace it all the time, and um, it, it's more it's more like I wanted to be known for being me, yeah. and that happens to be half Chinese, and that happens to be. English, Irish, Cherokee, and Portuguese as well. So I'm a lot of different things, but I am mostly Chinese and that will never go away. Um, yeah. I, you know, I lived there and it's a huge part of my childhood. And um, <laughs> so for people to call me <laughs> fake Asian is really funny, but it's also I'm still honoring my dad in, in a big way. Yeah. Did you ever go into auditions for Asian roles and look around and see white people? Oh yeah, a lot of the roles <laughs> that I went out for, um, they, ended up cat that were Asian they ended up being white. And a I lot, think that happens all the time. So, yeah, and this yeah. is like this is nothing new. We've seen a lot of I'm not going to bring it up, but like a lot of people yeah, have had this has been an issue. Yeah, it's been it happens a lot so where then, that I I've gone out for parts or I've or I've like read a breakdown of a part and, and then I see like a few months later that the movie cast someone white and you know, that just How that does that just, make you feel? It's not great. I mean, um I'm not available to do that and I'm in a, such a great environment on my show where the producer is uh, an Asian female, a Thai female, and uh, Ming-Na Wen who's also on the show, she's Chinese and she's one of the leads on the show as well. And so our, our show represents a lot of different people, but it's not that's not how it is in the uh, industry at all. And you know, comments like from Steve Harvey, I think recently saying that Asian American men yep. aren't, um, can't be sexy. And that's super insulting to me because I grew up with the, the man in my life of my dad being like the most amazing guy to me. And I think he's really handsome. And I know a lot of really sexy Asian men. And I think it's just, 
it's uh, it's we have a lot of growing to do as a community. I want to talk about the roles for just a second. Do you feel like a lot of the Asian roles that you were going out for were they stereotyped? Yeah. Oh, so yeah, definitely, definitely. I wasn't like nerd. I would like. I would need to like nerd myself up mm -hmm. or like, they're like, can you do an accent? And it's like, uh, I don't want to, you know, I, at first it would probably look a little off if I did an accent because anyway, but it, it, yeah, they were very stereotypical. It's changed a lot, I think, but it's still, I mean, when we have situations where they're making Scarlett Johansson look more Japanese via CGI. That's, and that's like a that's, classically Asian role. Yeah, I mean that 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 character to a lot of people I know in Japan it meant a lot. So it's really insulting. All right, last two questions. How do you want to change television? I think it's important to change the content and make sure that everyone is equally represented. Um, and the stories that are being told are representative of all different types of people. And the the reason that this part that on Sh on Shields. They, they created this character around my ethnicity mm -hmm. when they made her half Chinese, which is so amazing, and they embraced who I was, which I thank them every you know every day for giving me that opportunity. I don't know what kind of person I would be if I didn't have my brothers, if I didn't have, you know, my dad and the culture, you know, that I, growing up part of a culture like that. It it, it I'm I'm really proud of it. And I think TV has I think the makers of TV have a really important job and I think they should take it very seriously because we are in people's homes every day. Chloe, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming and telling Thanks. your story. This is so fun. Next time we'll have to do like yoga or something. Yeah. <laughs> cook, 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 together. Bake. There's like a set over here that has literally like an oven and stuff. Yeah, you guys um, are missing out. Guys, let me know y'all's favorite part of this interview in the comment section below. Request guests for upcoming episodes. You know that we listen to you guys. So let us know. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Kirby Johnson and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.